Yo, what up guys? Thanks for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. War of the Spark spoilers are starting to begin, so I thought I'd make this video to lay Ravnica Allegiance to rest. Now, the cards in this list still have a chance to redeem themselves because they're still in standard, but these are just a list of cards that I think did not see enough play since Ravnica Allegiance came out. At number 5 we have Kaya Orzov Usurper. Now this card is number 5 on the list because it actually recently started seeing a little bit more play, but for the duration of the time it's been out it hasn't really seen much play at all. It's a planeswalker that's under $10 so you should probably pick some up now while they're cheap. So this card is not really too relevant for standard but I'm more looking at it for modern because exiling cards from graveyards is very relevant right now because of the dredge and phoenix menaces and that minus three ability or minus two rather is pretty relevant because you can exile things like mana dorks champion of the parish little merfolks aether vial and most importantly death shadow which is very relevant and that minus five ability is really quick to get to just two turns away and it can hit for a decent amount of damage if you're running a deck with like can disruption plus surgical extraction and relic of progenitus and that can be super good against the top tier decks in the meta so i think this card should definitely see a little bit more play at number four, we got Theater of Horrors. Now this card is very similar to Vance's Blasting Cannons, Outpost Siege, Chandra Torture Defiance, and Chandra Pyromaster in the way that those cards all exile a card at each of your turns that you can cast until the end of turn. But the only difference is the Theater of Horrors as three mana as opposed to your typical four mana like those other cards are. But it is limited to being in an aggro deck because you can only cast the card if your opponent lost life last turn. So you can put in an aggro deck and drawing an extra card each turn means you can kill your opponent a lot more effectively and also it's cheaper in addition to having that ability tagged onto it so in the late game you can ping your opponent if they are dangerously low health. Now I don't know how good this card may or may not be because it hasn't seen play at all so maybe people should start playing it more and trying it out because I think it has potential. At number three we have Spawn of Mayhem. Now I haven't seen this card see play at all ever since I played it on the channel. We played it in a mono black aggro deck and it was in modern and this card is very incredibly aggressive because you attack with your creature on turn three and you can play this demon for three mana and it is a 4-4 flying trample and at the beginning of your upkeep it deals one damage to each player. Now you're the aggressor so you don't care if you take damage but your opponent takes an extra damage in addition to being hit by a 4-4 flyer that costed you three mana. This card is super aggressive, can close out the game super fast and so this card should definitely see more play in aggro decks. At number two we have Bedevil. Now I've seen this card cast one time in Standard and when it first came out it saw one of sideboard play in Jund in Modern. Now this card is typically compared to Kolagon's Command because they can both destroy an artifact and potentially kill something. Kolagon's Command gives you more options but the fact that Bedevil straight up kills something kills a creature, kills a planeswalker, as opposed to pinging them for two damage, because Kologon's command fails a lot at that, can only kill small creatures and small things, and finish off planeswalkers that previously minused and are very low health, which doesn't happen too often, so Bedevil straight up kills better, but doesn't let you pick two options. So is it better than Kologon's command? Arguably yes, arguably no. But this card regardless should see a little bit more play and at least standard. And finally, at number one, we have Domri Chaos Bringer. Now, I've played this card in Modern, and I have never, ever, ever seen anybody play this card in any format at all. I've not even seen it in the RG Dinosaur decks in Standard. It's insane. And this card is super underrated because it is a four mana walker that goes up to six. And when you are the aggressor, your opponent's not going to want to attack you or your planeswalker because they have to leave up blocks. So this thing just sits there, very hard to kill, and then you can take it down for card advantage. A four mana walker that's hard to kill and produces card advantage is something that should see play in my book. This card, I played it in RG Eldrazi and Modern, and it was able to make Thought Not Seers into hasty threats, fatter, it was able able to make reality smashers bigger and close the game a lot faster. This card is super good and this card should definitely see a lot more play in aggro decks. 
And that about wraps up the list. It was just a short little list to put Ravnica Allegiance to rest. So like I said, these cards can still be redeemed because they're still in standard, but they're just cards that I think didn't see enough play. So get pumped for War of the Spark spoilers because they are starting to come out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And feel free to share down below cards from Ravnica Allegiance that you think didn't see enough play. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.